Have you ever wondered why the Philippines is experiencing extreme heat? A question that has been echoing through the minds of many. We're in the midst of a scorching heat wave, with temperatures soaring higher than ever before. It is not just the discomfort of sweat-drenched shirts and sunburns we're talking about, but the stifling heat that feels like a heavy blanket, suffocating and relentless. In the heart of the tropics, the Philippines is no stranger to heat. However, the current situation is more than just the usual tropical weather. It's a blistering, intense heat that seems to sear through the air, reaching up to 47 degrees in some regions. An extreme that is not only uncomfortable, but poses significant health risks. This is not a sudden phenomenon. The Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration, or PAGASA, has been sounding the alarm. They've issued a warning about the potential development of the El Nino phenomenon, a climate pattern that leads to prolonged dry spells and high temperatures. It's a complex and multi-layered issue, and one that we're going to delve into. But it's not just about the weather. This extreme heat is a symptom of a larger issue, one that affects us all globally, climate change. The scorching heat we are experiencing is a harsh reminder of the urgent need to address the impacts of climate change on our health, safety, and future livelihoods. So, why is the Philippines experiencing such extreme heat? And what are the effects of this heat on the people and the environment? These are questions that need answers, and we're here to explore them together. As we delve into the complexities of this issue, we'll uncover the causes, the effects, and what can be done to mitigate the impact. Now that we've established the current situation, let's delve into why exactly this is happening. The journey into understanding the scorching heat of the Philippines is just beginning. Stay with us as we venture further into the heart of this burning issue. What is this El Nino phenomenon and how does it contribute to the extreme heat? Let's dive into the El Nino phenomenon. El Nino, Spanish for the child, is a climate pattern that describes the unusual warming of surface waters in the eastern tropical Pacific Ocean. Now you might be wondering, how does this event on the other side of the world affect the Philippines? Well, it's all about the domino effect. El Nino has a significant impact on global weather patterns. It weakens the trade winds, which usually blow from east to west across the tropical Pacific. When these winds weaken, the warm surface water that usually gets pushed towards Australia and Indonesia stays near the coast of South America instead. This shift in water temperatures affects atmospheric pressures, leading to changes in wind patterns globally. How does this extreme heat impact our health? Now let's delve into the health risks that come along with this extreme heat, shall we? Picture this. As temperatures rise, our bodies try to cope by sweating, which helps us cool down. But in extreme heat, this natural cooling mechanism may not be enough, and this is where health risks come into play. Heat-related illnesses become a real concern. These range from minor issues such as heat cramps and heat exhaustion to the most severe heat stroke. Heat stroke is a serious condition where the body's temperature rises to dangerous levels. It can cause damage to your brain and other vital organs. It can even be fatal. And it's not only the physically active who are at risk. The elderly, the young, and those with chronic illnesses are also particularly vulnerable. But there's more. High temperatures can also worsen pre-existing health conditions. For instance, people with heart or lung conditions may find their symptoms exacerbated in the heat. It's a domino effect of sorts. The heat stresses the body, which in turn can exacerbate these conditions. So, what can we do to mitigate these risks? First off, hydration is key. Drink plenty of fluids, especially water, to replace what your body loses through sweating. Next, consider your clothing. Light-colored, lightweight, and loose-fitting clothes are your best bet for staying cool. Dark or tight clothing can trap heat, making you feel even hotter. Lastly, be mindful of your activities. Strenuous activities in hot weather can quickly lead to overheating. So try to schedule heavy-duty tasks for cooler parts of the day. Or better yet, find a way to do them indoors where it's cooler. Extreme heat is not just uncomfortable. It poses serious health risks. It's important to take these precautions to protect yourself and your loved ones. But the question remains, 
Who is most at risk? Let's explore that in the next scene. Are our children facing a hotter future? As we delve deeper into this critical issue, let's shift our focus onto the most vulnerable amongst us, our children. They are the ones who stand to inherit this world and bear the brunt of the effects of climate change. Their future hangs in the balance, and the extreme heat is making that balance ever so precarious. Now, imagine the blistering heat of the sun, reaching up to 47 degrees in some regions, and its impact on the young ones. This harsh reality is not a figment of imagination, but a lived experience for millions of children in the Philippines. Scorching temperatures are not just uncomfortable, they pose severe health risks. The most severe of these is heat stroke, a condition that can be fatal if not promptly and adequately addressed. The incidences of heat stroke among children are not just occasional occurrences anymore. They are on a disturbing upward trajectory. The statistics are alarming, with projections indicating a rise in affected children by the year 2050. This isn't a distant future, it's the world our children will be stepping into as adults. But the impact of extreme heat doesn't stop at health risks. It cascades onto other aspects of their lives, jeopardizing their safety and their future livelihoods. Imagine a child too sick from the heat to attend school, missing out on education and the opportunities it brings. Or consider a family forced to migrate because their home has become uninhabitable due to extreme temperatures. The ripple effects are far-reaching and deeply concerning. Our children's future is at stake. We're not just talking about isolated incidents. We're talking about a systemic issue that needs our immediate attention. It's crucial we understand this issue and take action. Their future, our future, depends on it. What can we do about this? You might find yourself asking. The answer lies within our own habits and choices. It's about being aware and making conscious decisions every day. It starts with staying informed about the climate changes happening not just in the Philippines but around the world. Knowledge is power, and the more we understand about what's happening, the better equipped we are to respond. Consider conserving water. You might think, but I'm just one person, what difference can I make? Well, let me tell you, every drop counts. By taking shorter showers, fixing leaky faucets, and using water-efficient appliances, we can make a substantial difference. Remember, water is a precious resource, especially during periods of extreme heat. And let's not forget about energy conservation. By reducing our energy consumption, we can decrease the demand for electricity. This, in turn, reduces the amount of fossil fuels burned to generate that electricity, which helps in mitigating the effects of climate change. Simple actions like turning off lights when not in use or using energy-efficient appliances can make a big difference. At the end of the day, it's about creating a culture of sustainability where every action we take is done with the environment in mind. And while these changes might seem small on their own collectively, they can have a profound impact. It's not just about the here and now, it's about the future, our children's future. By taking action today, we can help ensure a safer, healthier world for generations to come. A world where extreme heat is not a constant threat, but a distant memory. Remember, every little step counts. Together, we can make a difference. And with that, we can turn the tide, not just in the Philippines, but across the globe. So let's step up, take action, and create a better future for us all. Don't miss out on future explorations and discoveries. Hit subscribe and ring the bell to stay updated with our new content. Your journey of wonder continues with every video. Stay connected and engaged on social media. Continue the conversation, follow us. Thank you for being a part of the Have You Ever Wondered community. Keep wondering, keep discovering. Until next time.